The princess had just married the prince, but he threw her off the cliff. Although she survived, there was a terrifying monster at the bottom of the cliff. Anna looked at her father, who had been killed by the dragon to save her, and decided to escape from the cliff. At that moment, the dragon had just finished the last person and saw that Anna was following the old man down the rope ready. To escape he swooped down and flew over only to see that after waiting for the intense flames burst out violently. Luckily, Anna managed to climb out of the hole at the critical moment and survived once again. She did not hesitate to get on her horse and started to head towards the sea, but the dragon chasing her did not want to give her this chance. Seeing that the horses could not outrun the other side, Anna could only give up riding the horse and turn around to hide behind the rocks. The dragon was furious when he lost sight of Anna and burned the horse to death. Then he kept spraying his breath in the air. The flames and smoke were like the end of the world Queen Aurelia saw the scene and suddenly said, Soon after, Queen Aurelia took Anna's sister and they were looking for a new sacrifice for the dragon. Anna, who had survived, was unaware of this, and just as she was about to join her mother, she was approached by her mother, who told her of her sister's capture. Anna understood the cruelty of the queen and the horror of the dragon, but she decided to return to the cave to save her sister. However, when she arrived at the cave, she saw that her sister had been sacrificed and had been captured by the dragon. Anna did not hesitate to go after them, not only to repeat the escape route, but also to collect a lot of glowing bugs, and then picked up the fallen armor and gathered them together to make a simple trap bait. After everything was ready, Anna picked up her father's sword. At this time the dragon looked at Anna's sister was also waiting for Anna's arrival no matter what he had to kill this ant that had made his face lose face. At that moment the decoy collapsed and the dragon thought Anna was coming and flew over to check on her. As soon as it was gone, Anna crept up from the side and woke her sister up, ready to take her away. But her sister's leg was broken and she couldn't walk, and the dragon flew back as soon as he saw that he had been tricked. When he saw the three newborns, the king ordered them to be killed. By the time the dragon returned, his children were already dead, and in his anger he burned all the soldiers, leaving only the king. The king was horrified by the horror. To punish him, the dragon made him and his descendants sacrifice a royal bloodline every year, or else he would slaughter the entire kingdom of Aurelia. And so the tradition continued. But then the royal family used the marriage to sell out girls like Anna in order to prevent their bloodline from being slaughtered. When she found out about this, Anna wanted to explain. But the dragon didn't give her a chance to retreat. So she had to take the initiative. But she was still washed into the water by the dragon's breath. Her body was burned. But she survived. When Anna climbed out of the water, the dragon cornered her again. Anna told the truth about how they had all been lied to by the royal family and then called the dragon a brainless fool. You can imagine how angry the dragon was, not realizing that the dragon had been wounded by the rebound of his own breath. She watched as he slumped to the ground, no longer able to stand, and Anna picked up her weapon. Then she raised her hand and explained that the source of the royal blood smell was because of this wound, and then she raised her sword without hesitation. Although this guy is also very cruel, Anna not only did not kill him, but also took a lot of glowing bugs and threw them on his burned body. As the scene shifted to a new wedding ceremony in the kingdom of Orea, Anna walked in midway through the ceremony, and to the disbelief of the crowd, she stepped forward and let the bride go. Then she shouted at the top of her lungs, giving other innocents a chance to escape. As some of them fled, Queen Aurelia scolded Anna for what she was, but all Anna said in return was that it was over. And then, to the amazement of the crowd, the giant black dragon suddenly appeared on the castle. As Anna turned to leave, the dragon's angry breath was directed at the entire kingdom of Aurelia, and the kingdom of Aurelia vanished into thin air. Anna left the castle coldly, and the dragon flew slowly over her head.